Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Zuzo by here coming at you with another video and today I am bringing you an unboxing of the Revolutionary Girl Utena 20th Anniversary Ultra Edition. That's a mouthful. Anyways, this is a box set that I have been anticipating for quite some time, uh, even more so because it was delayed. Nozomi Entertainment, aka Right Stuff Anime, uh, lost the products and materials to build this uh, box set in transit, so that was very unfortunate. It got pushed back quite a few months, so that sucked. Uh, but it's finally here, finally released, and it's glorious 20th anniversary ultra edition form um so yeah i've really been wanting to uh watch utena for a while or utena i think it's utena actually i guess it doesn't matter really um but way back since the dvds were out but i heard there was rumors of a blu-ray release um so i just decided to wait around for that and yeah i am just for based off first impressions i've already taken a look at it myself uh this is top tier you know high you know top of the echelon uh for box sets just in general for, from the likes of people like sentai and funimation this competes with those heavy hitters maybe even outdoes them in some ways definitely i think just in terms of quality and how it's put together and uh the extras that are included and my personal opinion as a collector and just what i prefer in a box set um just a little bit of information, though, about this. This is going to set you back about 140 bucks if you're a member on Right Stuff. And if you're not, probably closer to around 150 So not a huge difference either way. But, you know, this is a, you know, for collectors. Um, so you're going to pay that collector's price, that premium price. Um, personally, I think it's worth it. Um, but anyways, let's just get right into the unboxing now that I've uh, done our intro. Anyway, so here looking at the front we have Revolutionary Girl Utena, 20th Anniversary Ultra Edition. Already said that like three times already. And then we have, if I say their names right, or at least one of their names right, this is Utena, and then this is Anthe. And I, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, our two main characters. And yeah, they're surrounded by this nice gold. I, it kind of reminds me of just like a picture frame or something. It's got these roses or what I think are roses. Very nice uh, uh, gold like foil kind of print on here. And if you even, if the camera will catch it, there's like some gold sparkling in this black box uh, or on this black slip cover. This is just a slip cover that's surrounding this chipboard box. So yeah, uh, just give it a quick once around. There's the top, nothing too crazy about that. On the bottom, just the contents. We even have a little little dirt right there just from it sitting um, then on the side we got nothing this side nothing then on the back we have a little description of the series and a little quote never lose that strength or nobility even when you grow up that's a nice one might use that myself someday um, but yeah that is the slipcase one thing I did want to say about this slipcase though is that the shrink wrap it, it's very flimsy uh, just, you know, it is a slip case, I guess. Uh, the shrink wrap kind of formed, it was so tight, it kind of pinched everything. So now they're kind of formed that way, which is kind of disappointing. Not a big deal though, because it wasn't damaged. It's just a little, you know, formed differently. Anyway, so this just slides right off like that to reveal a flowing image across this entire super sturdy chipboard box and it's just it looks like it's just a anthe's dress that is a that's the biggest damn dress i've ever seen in my life all right if it covers it this entire box where where they ain't got no room to dance they just got to hold that one pose they're gonna trip over that damn dress if they if they do anything so anyways here we have utena and anthony in a very romantic dancing pose you can kind of tell who's the hero and who's the maiden in distress in this series. At least, you know, I haven't actually seen the series um, yet. That's why I've been waiting to get this so I can finally watch it. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, Utena, 20th Anniversary Ultra Edition. Not, there you go. Hit the light right there. You can really see it. It looks very nice. So, nothing too crazy. Very nice box set. And then this actually just slides out the out this with this sliding mechanism technology that Nozomi Entertainment has implemented into this 
box set. So it's, it's a pretty tight fit. Just be careful when you're taking it. Don't want things flying out or breaking. That would be terrible, especially because this is expensive. So kind of just, I don't want to say wiggle it out because that could even damage it. But anyways, we are met with a very different depiction of our two characters. Uh, we have Utena reaching out across to Anthe. And then Anthe kind of just like doing her own thing, not really like fucking with Utena right now. Um, and then obviously, I don't know if they did this on purpose, kind of like this black, just, you know, wall between them with the Utena name on it. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting, the vibe I'm kind of getting from it. So yeah, uh, very nice artwork. And uh, yeah, anyways, let's uh, let's check out what's inside this box. Here we just have a quick overview. We have our three Blu-ray discs, hardcover booklet with tons of artwork and interviews and all that good stuff. Then we have something a little special in there. La Filet Revolutionnaire uh, is how I'm going to pronounce that because I'm assuming that's some kind of French pronunciation. Um, yeah, anyways, let's just take a look at what's inside now. Take a closer look at least. We'll set that, that to the side and we'll take a look at the Blu-ray cases first. So we have set one, the Student Council Saga with Utena and Anthe right there. And then a little bit of information on the back, the legendary shoujo series that inspired the best-selling manga. And then looks like we have a little damage. Is that a little damage right there? Yeah, because it's kind of the cover is kind of sliding out. That's, un you know, not a big deal because I won't be looking at the Blu-ray cases themselves that much. Um, looks like it got stuck to some kind of glue. Anyways, I'll deal with that on my own time. Let's just take a look inside this Blu-ray case real quick. Just a little postcard you want to send in and for, uh, you know, satisfaction, all that stuff. And then we just have some plain old discs and we do have some reverse disc art in the back. I can't pull it out because it's stuck to the case. Looks like it was, glue. there's like a piece of tape right there. That's unfortunate. Disc made in Mexico. Uh, then moving on to set two, we have the Black Rose Saga. Now I did not know the names of these characters yet. Um, here is another you know, description, all that good stuff. Pop this baby open. Just more plain discs uh, with some different slipcase art or insert art, not slipcase, insert art. And then we can see what's on the back right there. I believe these uh, reverse slip cases are the images that were on the uh, DVD collector's editions. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Then we have set three, the Apocalypse Saga. So it just gets spookier every saga, huh? Uh, then we got two dudes with some... Bro, he could... Yo, he's breathing... Those guys are breathing up everyone's air on this damn planet, I swear. With those freaking big old honkers on those faces. Damn. Anyways... <laughs> Moving on, here's the back again. Just a quick description of the arc. Pop this baby open. Boom. Same as the last two. We got plain, you know, just plain discs. And then a alternate insert right there. Which I have to say are very nice. I might flip those myself. Um, so yeah, those are the Blu-ray cases. And we will move on to this booklet next. Alrighty, so taking a look at this booklet is... There, I noticed something I did not know about before and that these are numbered. So I got number 1,624. Pretty cool. Out of, I guess they made at least like 50, 50,000 units, 10,000 units maybe. I don't know um, out of how many, but that's still pretty cool. I'm just wondering why they gave us a number, but didn't say out of how many. But either way, still a very cool addition. I was not aware that was going to be a thing. And uh, this is just the spine right there. I don't know what this number is. Don't know what that is for. And then here we have just the back of the book, which, which uh, just matches the this pretty much 100%. One's just in shiny gold, and the other is just in a plain flat white. So... Now, let's move on to what you guys actually want to see, and that is the contents of this book. And I have to say, just, this is super high-quality stuff. Uh, 
Usually you get like a little flimsy book, sometimes a pamphlet, sometimes you get a nice hardcover booklet, but I usually you don't get this one jam-packed with interviews and so much. You can just see all the different stuff they've packed in here. Director episode commentary, key art gallery, laser disc liner notes from Japanese archives, HD video remastering interview with the staff, uh, audio remastering, uh, manga, manga stuff, uh, Rondo Revolution, Kunihiko Ikura... Well, I'm not even going to try and say that. Uh, anyways, I don't want to read them all out. You guys can uh, check that out. Pause that if you want to read that. Um, so here is a nice little high quality image of Utena and Anthe. And then we have director commentary, all that good stuff. And then let's see, let's see. Looks like this is the key art gallery. Yeah, very nice. Super high quality stuff right here. This is like I'm reading a Mobile Suit Gundam Origins manga volume or Battle Angel Alita manga volume. Uh, those are super high quality uh, manga volumes right there. Is this like straight up just like dirt that was on the key art frame? Or what? I don't think that's grime that's on my book. That's pretty That's pretty authentic. Um, so moving on, we just have a ton of key art in there. That's pretty freaking sweet. So we got more interviews, it looks like. All that good stuff. And then, yeah. Here we just, I'm not, I'm not going to go through everything just because it would take forever. But hopefully you guys are able to get your own edition or someone will put a copy of it online. That would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, a very, very nice booklet from Nozomi Entertainment. Uh, I would have to say out of everything they've put out so far regarding like in terms of like uh, and limited edition box sets. This is by far their night by far their nicest and my favorite box set from 2018 so far off the top of my head There's a lot of box sets that are gonna be coming out this year that I'm interested in getting but anyways moving on We have this last little extra right here. Just this little black box with the fancy French language on it or French I uh, whatever, whatever that says. I'm not even going to try again. Uh, but we flip it open, and here we see two rings, one silver with a lighter pink symbol right there. And then the next one, a kind of onyx color black with a darker pink right in there. So I'm assuming these are... They've got, I can't imagine that this is a shoujo like romance. He's got to be wedding rings or some kind of promise ring or something. Obviously, very important for them to include an entire box for it. But uh, if we look at the top right here, we have that saying again, that quote, never lose that strength or nobility even when you grow up. That's a nice one. Uh, so yeah, that is the revolutionary girl Utena 20th anniversary ultra edition from Nozomi Entertainment. This was a blast unboxing. Uh, really like this set, super high quality stuff. My props to Nozomi for putting out something super nice. If this was a total stinker and we had to wait that long and pay that premium price for it, I would have been disappointed. But Nozomi Entertainment really outdid themselves, so they should pat themselves on the back for this one. So uh, I think that's it for this unboxing video. Let me know if you guys got one of these sets yourself. Let me know if you just have the DVDs or the standard, standard Blu-ray editions. Let me know your thoughts on the series itself. Obviously, no spoilers, please, because I'm going to watch this uh, very soon. At least I intend to. This is something I've been looking to very for, uh, looking forward to very much. Uh, this, the classic shoujos are something that I really like. If you guys have been around this channel for a long time, you know that Rose, Rose, bleh, Rose of Versailles is one of my favorite mo or anime of all time. So, obviously, uh, hopefully something like this kind of scratches that itch I've been uh, having ever since Rose of Versailles obviously uh, ended since I finished watching it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave all your comments down below. Hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions, want to get in contact with me. And yeah, just want to say what's up, any of that. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this, unboxing hauls, uh, first impressions, all of that good weeb-ish. 
and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, enjoyed anything I had to say, liked any of the crappy jokes I had, probably, maybe, definitely did make in this video. Um, and yeah, that's it from me. This is Mr. Steel Senpai signing out, and I'll see you next time.